assalamu alaikum this is unit number 6 uh, and it is about the curriculum change in which we did the different approaches of curriculum change and various issues of curriculum change what is curriculum change change is the law of nature change always makes things better and curriculum change change is a regular phenomena in any system of education it is important for the members who involved in the process of curriculum change to keep in mind the target group for whom it is decided approaches to curriculum change there are three approaches which are used for changing the curriculum the first one is administrative approach second one is grassroots approach the third one is demonstration approach administrative approach this approach adopt top to down policy that is the decisions are made at the top to bring changes this process is not democratic in nature basically this approach get initiated with the recognition of the need for revision in the curriculum once the superintendent identifies the need they arrange for faculty meeting to present the need for revision at that time a steering com- committee appointed the function of the steering committee is they formulate plans develop guiding principles prepare a statement of general objective and so on after uh, developing appointing a steering committee the steering committee plans for a number of other committees that is called the production committee largely with the teachers who prepare a new course of study under the direction of steering committee so in this way the whole administrative approach work out this approach was popular during the 1920s and it is not much popular at present the second one is grassroots approach the rationale behind of this approach is the to serve uh, that the administrative model was not in favor of teachers themselves and they were not personally involved in bringing out constructive changes from their work so the main focus of this grassroots approach it involves all stakeholders related to the education who are the teachers students parents and other community members the grassroots approach made a provision to involve the staff to become an active member in curriculum building from the beginning to the end of the process the grassroots approach basically work as in the school and in this approach the teachers student parents and community community can work face to face on their problem in this approach uh, teacher were very much interested in solving their own problem related to their school they have the full freedom to work out their program of instruction they have no need to implement a program planned by others and also the role of administrator in this approach is to provide good stimulating leadership free time material and whatsoever necessary they can use various technique to encourage school to improve the program with the help of all their stakeholders the third approach is demonstration approach demonstration approach is basically that sometimes the changes of curriculum are not possible to implement school wide due to the resistance from the faculty so then this approach is work out in this approach changes are planned at a small scale on an experimental basis because sometime in school a separate team is brought to carry out the experiment at a small scale to avoid disturbance from faculty and community on the basis of result the changes are applied school wide
factors affecting curriculum change there are a lot of factor which affects on the curriculum change the first one is school factor school factor has symptoms of the need for change there are some questions about school factor which have curriculum implications such as does the school have a well defined philosophy is it accepted by the teachers or has the school participated in educational innovations or experiment does the school staff participates in professional activities these questions serve as the symptoms of the need for change the second is knowledge explosion as a factor in curriculum change knowledge is multiplying very rapidly knowledge become obsolete within a short span of time with the knowledge explosion it has become essential for the children to get acquainted with a lot of information right from the schooling age so in order to keep pace with the rapidly changing world there is a need of introducing relevant changes in the curriculum from time to time the third one is changes in society as a factor in the need for change the fourth one is socio political factor socio political factor as the government policies change they have an influence on the educational policies and scheme that they undertake it also takes into consideration the social needs and demands and changing trends trends in the society with respect to various their issues and contemporary development the next one is the economic factor economic factor of the uh, people and the government play a role in the curriculum change this variation of people their demand and experiences from particular courses from particular courses or curricular inclusion at various stages of education all depend on economic status the last one is the technological factor on a daily basis new interventions arises in technological technology field so it is necessary to update curriculum accordingly and develop a new knowledge in our students as well thank you